here at the farm. I uh, went to an auction today and it was terrible. There's like 400 people there. The uh, auction was super slow. It didn't go through any of the things I even wanted to look at. So we left. We went to lunch. We came back. They had a few things that I was interested in. They had two anvils. Uh, one of them sold for four fifty. The other one sold for eight hundred and fifty dollars. Had a completely cracked top on it. I don't know why you would ever pay eight hundred and fifty dollars for a hundred pound anvil with no markings. There was no markings on the anvil. There was it was a hundred pounder. It was this you know, the edges were rounded. They weren't too rounded. You could have brazed them back up and, and fixed it. But you know, the for eight hundred and fifty dollars, I mean, come on. The uh the the top had a, a big old angle cut into it like that. It was broken though, it wasn't a cut. And then all the way across the anvil surface, there was a crack from it, you know. And that's just, that weakens your, your hits. It's not a good, you know, it's not a good thing. So, that was something I was really shocked about. I really thought I could pick that up pretty cheap. Um, I, I guess another thing would be there were some cutting torches. They wanted, uh, you know... The, the highest bidder was 140 on them, and that was really cheap for some cotton torches. But, you know, uh, you never know if the tips are any good or if the hoses aren't good, because cutting stuff like that is expensive. The torches, the tips, the, the hoses, everything, you know, involved is pretty expensive. Um, you know, and... The other anvil that sold for 450, not to jump back, but that was rounded. The edges were gone. You couldn't even perform simple tasks like making tongs. You know, what I mean, it was just it was rounded right off. It, you'd have had to braze rod after rod after rod after rod, or you know, just weld and weld and weld, and then at that point, what's the point? You know, so, but. That's my auction experience, thank you. Uh, yeah, so that was the auction. Uh, a lot of John Deere stuff. Not a big John Deere guy, I don't know a lot about it, but... The, uh, you know, most of the other stuff, there was a two-pronged pitch, pitchfork that sold for $80, which was really surprising. There was, uh... I didn't get to see any of the equipment, but there's a 1010 John Deere dozer that I suspect will bring probably six thousand dollars. Um, I guess you know, other than a lot of the hand tools going for pretty cheap, wasn't much good. There's just a lot of people, and I mean, I have tools. You know, I can work on anything almost. So anything that they brought up, I really didn't have a use for. The only stuff I really wanted was the cutting torch and, you know, the anvils. There was um, a couple of guns that weren't too bad, but other than that, nothing. So that's my auction day. Pretty fun experience. The, uh, the farm coming along, the Dodge is running. I got a new starter in it. Uh, had a friend come over and help me. It wasn't starting right away, so we had to figure that out. But once we got that, it was fine. Um, what else we got? The calf, he's doing a lot better. He's he's doing piles. He's jumping up and down. Uh, I guess that's about it for the farm. So, Thank you, like, and sub.